so this is the beautiful gown as you can see very beautiful this is a two-way gown you can either wear this part or you can wear the back part so this is the front okay let me show you the back this is the back okay with a strap okay that's a str it has straps behind okay as, as you can see there are gathers here very beautiful gown it's a free gown you can loosen these gathers you can loosen these straps and it will be very free like this this is the back okay this back you can also wear it at the front if you wish if you so wish you want that room for your tummy okay so this is the front the way we cut the front is different so basically for this gown whatever you need to reduce from the front body so that you get this effect i'm going to be showing you in this video so this is the back view when you release the straps okay this is how free it is when you put on the strap again this is how it is this is the front view now that the front bodies at the back and this is the back bodies at the front I hope you get the gist. This is the back body that is now at the front. It's a two-way kind of dress. So here we go. Let's learn how to cut it. Okay, let's dive into the main tutorial. So you get your fabric, you fold it in four. Okay, so when you take your own measurement, whatever your measurements are, we are going to be minusing some setting. Um, inches from the front body and then you are going to be adding it to the back but this is just the secret so now i'm taking my shoulder to my bust point okay so this is the ample i'm, I'm taking the ample this is the shoulder to the bust point okay i've marked it this is the shoulder to the under bust you will take your measurements okay whatever measurement you have when you divide it by four you minus two or you minus one inch or you minus two inches whatever you put i'm minusing 1.5 inches for this particular dress okay this particular count so here it is i've measured down to my full length i've done video on this before so i'm just kind of repeating it here again so on the hip line now you minus two inches from the hip measurement on the new level okay you come up by two and then you take the measurement from the new level okay so now you just cut it accordingly the slope here is one inch okay so when you cut it out you have something like this and for the neck i took six inches by three inches okay for the this skinny neck you are seeing like the difference is just there you place the front bodies on the back bodies like this is how to achieve it when you place it on the back bodies you then you take your actual measurement the one you reduce from the front bodies you are going to be adding it at the back bodies okay so the measurement divided by four plus two inches is what you'll be doing for your back bodies if you want to have this volume at your back you can add more this you are going to be taking for the neck width i took six inches by three inches okay just to achieve this canoe neck effect okay when you take your neck measurement whatever is remaining you divide it by two and add it to the remaining width of the neckline okay then you come down by three inches if you want to go down further by four inches no problem okay I discovered that you need to come down from only the front body to make it uh, a little bit deeper. Then you take the ample accordingly. Okay. So here we go. You just cut your ample okay. from one inch after that 90 degrees angle, and then you curve out. Okay. So you cut the ample accurately. I think in the and you know for the picture okay so when you finish cutting the ample the next thing to be doing is to be checking you see, you see the difference i place the front and the back now can you imagine this is the front this is the back look at the difference of what was added to the back all the way down to the hem so these are the inches that was 
added to the back starting from the this is the waistline this is the bust under bust this is the bust you, you can imagine the the inches that was added to the back bodies instead of the front this is where the front is okay and then this is the back we just want this volume at the back of the dress and then we want in such a way that you can wear this both front and back any way you want if you want to wear this front at the back good so for the sleeve i, I took five inches for the the wideness of the sleeve okay then i'm using three inches for the just the tip so the length is 14 inches okay so i'm just going to be shaping it down it's not a regular sleeve it's just this um this western sleeve so you are going to see it at the at the end of the video very beautiful so it's not a regular sleeve so it's not like the one that will be taking cap measurement so i just slant it down like like so down to the three inches that i measured okay subscribe to alina's fashion if you are new to this channel we apologize for the mist up in sound we hope to save you better next time thank you so much for this time with us when you cut it out you have something like this then you just go to your fabric your armhole okay the sleeve part and then pleat it you pleat it like so you make sure you start pinning from the down face then you pleat the remaining and yeah this is so beautiful this is the front view okay this is the front view this is the side view with the gathers and the straps okay so you can wear this also this is the front at the back back at the front this is the unique side this is the back at the front okay this is when you don't have the strap at all very beautiful thank you for watching